Hello, welcome to the video series on Primavera Risk Analysis. My name is Jacques Alexis. I'm a faculty here in the Leadership and Project Management Domain, NCPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to import Microsoft Project data into Primavera Risk Analysis to perform a quantitative risk analysis. The first thing to do is to make sure that Microsoft Project is open. We can look up here. I have project open, right? Uh, the next thing to do is to import the file from Primavera here. I have Primavera open. Go to File, Microsoft Project, Open Project, and look for the Microsoft Project file. The Microsoft Project file that I want to import is Alexis. J underscore CPS plot pra workshop. I select it and click open. Here we go. Now, this dialog box will allow me to select what sort of information that I want to import in project. For example, I want my planning unit to be day. I select that. I want one day equals eight hours. I select that, right? And I may want to see the import log. I select that. And it's important to see the import log to check to see whether you have any problem with your data or not. So another thing that I want to do, I want to make sure that I can actually have a cost distribution when I import data, if you have cost data in Microsoft Project. Now, if this checkbox is not uh, checked, check it and take a look at your general information here. The default is actually pretty good. And then click OK. If you want to remember your setting, you can always click that. But if not, you can leave it unchecked. Now we click OK and your data is actually being imported into Primavera. So it's going to ask you to save the file. Make sure you save the file in a place where you can find it later. Here, I am going to save this file on my desktop. I already have plan one and two, and a my a Primavera plan is going to have an extension dot plan. So I'm going to call this three. Right, and I click save. And here we go. Here is my Microsoft Project import report with all the information about my project data that I import. And if I check here, everything is okay. Everything is to find a number of items in my project. Uh, and um, everything uh, seems to be fine. I can close this right now. And here's my plan from Microsoft Project to Prima yeah, this Analysis. So that's going to be all. The short video uh, was about how to import Microsoft Project data into Prima Analysis. Analysis. Uh, and um, thank you for watching and watch out for the next video on Prima Analysis. Thank you.